Alright, uh, here's match one of an eight man. I'm playing Bant Heroic. Um, ooh, can't see my hand. Oh, there we go. So I'm looking over this hand really fast and looks like a mulligan to me. One land, I can't play anything. This one looks like a keeper. This one doesn't have that much action. But it's not that bad, so I'm gonna keep. He's on the play. Uh, you may not know he's on the play, and I'll play land. Fingers crossed. <laughs> I've done that before. <laughs> All right, so I got a one drop. Um, that's nice. Let's play it and pass the turn. Dun, dun. So it looks like he's probably on like abs and something. He could be playing like full color soul, I guess, but uh, pretty much looks like abs and. He's gonna probably play carroted here, so probably abs and control. I don't think aggro runs carroted. Oh. So, could be aggro actually. So here I can Dramoka's command to kill Fleece Rain Lion. Or I can build my board. Mm. Yeah, I think I like Dramoka's command in there. I need to draw some gas, like, uh... Protection spell would be great. I also want, um... Right now, probably the best card. As long as he doesn't have, like, Hero's Downfall here, I should be good. Looks like he doesn't have another black source. Because it's out of Bioblight range, even if he had Bioblight 2. Probably play Corsair here. But I really want to like draw a um <coughs> Thassa. Or deal with Thassa, draw some cards, and then I have a tricky uh thing to do. Do I play the Hero of Iros and get an island and play for one, tap out, or do I just play it leaving up um planes to see if I draw a protection spell? So, I drew it, um, hmm, okay, I think I leave a protection spell, because I mean, he is playing, yeah, and I mean, that doesn't really do, getting him on the board right now doesn't do much for me. And if he's got a removal spell, I'm pretty screwed. So I just drew some dead cards, but uh, I mean, this is good. I'm swinging for five, he's at ten. And he's got to be afraid that I do have the protection spell. Uh, I don't want to see a siege rhino here, because then his board would be eight power. Could be more. He goes to 13. I really don't want him to gain any life. Um, life gain would be pretty rough for me. Um, take a drink really fast. So, looks like he's just going to attack. Or maybe not attack, yeah. Um, <clears throat> so I think next turn I... So he missed his land drop, which is good for us. I still think, I think I actually played a guy there. Um, yeah, because if he has removal stuff, 
removals. Yeah, I messed up. So that was really bad. So removal spell, Abzan charm, and I'm drawing a Aquarius form. So it takes a whole turn off. Oh, uh, looks like it's a murderous cut, but still really bad for me. Um, so yeah, that was really poor. Um, even though, like, I should have just played planes, not tap land. I did really want to scribe, but to leave it up, so he thinks I have something that I don't. Um, so I'm drawing Aquarius form. I think next turn I'm just going to. So hopefully he doesn't have another land. So he's swiffing on the land, which is good for us. So I think I play that guy. Tapped wrong again. Again, but that's fine. Play that guy. I'm not gonna play the Aquarius form. There's no point. Um, I'd rather gain the life. Next turn. Could and deal an extra three damage. It's very possible that's what I wanna do. Now he's making a decision of what to do. I don't really know. I guess he could have Dramoka's command also. Which is also, I guess, playing around Dramoka's command is great for me that I don't play Quake Form because make me sack it. Um, he'll probably fight the Seeker in the way, but. Oh, okay. Maybe not. I mean, life gain, but maybe he just thinks his hand is just better than mine, which it obviously is. He's got five cards in hand, and I've never played against an Abzan deck that didn't have Cedrino in their hand, so uh, probably gonna he's going to go to eight. Um, now I'm going to go pretty low here. So really need to draw some gas. <coughs> that ordeal of Thassa was not very good. Not attacking. Okay. Well, let's go Aquarius for him. So I'm going to scribe before I draw. Put that to the bottom. So I could go for it, but no. So he's got a removal spell, I guess. Or a boon Seder? He could have a boon. I don't know what he has. Okay, Absent Charm. So I think. This is right. I mean, this could be wrong, but... Yeah, it was wrong. It was wrong. Oh, ate it. Oh, I ate it so hard. Well, so now I think I'm dead. Like, but I was trying to windswept Heath next turn, so he exiles there, and then I don't think I'm, like, progressing at all there. Like... I put to the bottom of land, and I already have a bunch of land, so I'm running 21. So I feel like that's the right play. Like, really going for it right there to see if I can draw a protection spell. There's, I guess there's only five in the deck. Yeah, maybe that was greedy. Maybe I shouldn't have done that, but I'm, like, still in a horrible position. Like, otherwise, like, just really bad position. He's just got a bunch of removal spells, so. Um, yeah, uh, I'm gonna take five. I'm gonna go to one, because I can't win if I block, so. <laughs> I mean, even if he's got me dead, he's got me dead. Siege Rhino. Siege Rhino. Oh. Oh, no. Windmill Rock. Alright. I could s 
still possibly win. No, I don't think so, actually. Yeah, because uh, I can only get to two counters and one pop to gain me the life. I mean, it would put me to 11 anyways, and I don't have lethal. Okay, consider get. Alright, so yeah, I'm playing against aggro, it looks like. So I'm gonna put in case in ice. I think I'm gonna play another Aquarius form. Uh, Trailblazer. And a Johnny's Presence is what I'm gonna be putting into the deck. Um, making a video, man. Um, I think I'm gonna take out Treasure Cruise. Uh, Dramoka's command seemed good, but how good is another question. I don't know. So you can fight his... Yeah, I think I may cut one. Well, if he's got coursers, I don't think he does, but if he does, that's a huge tempo play for me. So, hmm. I think I cut one. Um, three cards. I want to case the nice. Or deal thos is insane. Uh, let's cut a defined strike. Let's cut. Uh, maybe I do cut the Aquarius form. But unblockable is just so good. Uh. Center Soul is very good. I think I cut the Ordeal of Heliod and a Seeker of the way. And I'll submit my deck. I would like to play first. Uh, this hand is good. I'll keep that hand. Play a Plains, pass the turn. Two protection spells, which is great. I have a spell that makes me do some amount of damage, extra damage, which is nice. So he has a black line. So this is what I'm worried about: is me playing island and then playing battlewise hoplite, and he bio blights. But I guess I have a follow-up play. With, now that I have a follow-up play, that's less. And like he usually, they usually have tap lands, like tap land, tap land, tap land. Or he's got one swap teeth, so not a spell that just murders me here, which is nice. Uh, Fleeceman line, okay, it's fine. So he didn't block, this is looking great for me, because I have an ordeal with Thassa now with two protection spells. Um, so it means he's attacking me, he goes 17, it's fine. Uh, I'm not that worried about it. <clears throat> and this is a great draw, really happy with it. Um, let's see, what am I worried about him playing next turn? I don't think anything, like he can play... And a Fenza. So yeah, obviously he's attacking me because if he was blocking, he would have blocked. Maybe he just holds up removal spell? Or plays land and a Fenza? I'm not sure. He's doing something though. Oh, it's a tap land. Another Fleeceman line? Oh, Death Dealer. Okay. So here I can build my board, which I think I'm going to do. I'm going to get that forest. Uh, 
I don't want that card. I don't think I need another one. I'm attacking. I drew two more lands, so that's pretty rough. But I have a God's Willing, so I feel pretty confident in this game. And next turn, Siege Rhino would be rough, <laughs> I will admit. Um, because I kind of have a turn, two turn clock right now, and Siege Rhino really screws that up, and he's going to be attacking me with a decent amount of damage. I go to 13, take 5, go to 8, and then maybe I have to stop attacking early. It's might be difficult to win if he plays a Siege Rhino. Um, so he thought sees me. Well, can't do anything about that, so that's going to resolve. He's going to take it God's Willing, which is really poor for me. Uh, thought sees was rough, but now he doesn't have a. He does not have a Siege Rhino, and he's going to 8, so. It's kind of nice. If I drew draw a spell, I'd be better. We're drawing Aquarius form would be really sweet right here. Uh, Defiant Strike would be awesome. A lot of stuff would be awesome right now. Which, I, it's not in my hand. Pretty much every spell in my deck would be really good, besides land. And creatures. I don't want any more creatures. I have enough. I have two on board with a favorite hoplite in hand. <clears throat> He's tapping some lands. It looks like an Anafenza. Alright, Anafenza. Resolves. So he's not attacking. So... Hmm. Do I Aquarius form here? Huh. This is interesting. I could Aquarius form here, attack all out. He has to block, 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 and then I could God's willing it. Or I here this goes to six, this goes to seven, he goes to one. Uh nah. I think I'm just gonna put it on here put that to the bottom I don't want a land so put that land to the bottom I don't want another land He goes to two. So I can't, he can't thought seize, because he's going to two, which is nice. Very nice. So he can't get my other God's Willing on my hand. If he has another one, which it's very possible he does. I'm going to play this. He knows about the lands in my hand, so I'm going to play it. I only play this favorite hoplite, like, I know if he has a removal spell, I have to sack this and all my scries are wiped out at that point, but I play this on the precaution that I die next turn, because, I mean, it's an 8-9. Eh, it's a low possibility, but very possible that I may need two blockers, so that's pretty much why I played it. And also, if he kills this somehow, I still have a chance to do something. Oh, okay, so Soren, I'm pretty dead. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty dead here. Alright. So, Soren's big game. Almost every time Soren's big game. So he's gonna put it under Shasha's Death Dealer. For sure. Yeah. 
because I could just trade if not and so I can God's willing to absorb five damage which I think I might do so he doesn't gain five five life so I'm gonna <coughs> sack here and I'll get to scry which is nice and this will pump up my team my guy so that's also nice protection from green put on top alright I'm going to mm, block here So he goes to 10. So 6, 9, 10. So I have 10 on board. So actually, that was good. Alright. I didn't really do the math. I just saw Soren was like, oh my goodness. So Soren is a very good card. I think I might want to deal with he led. Like, he is playing aggro, but just his top end is so good. I think a stubborn denial might be like two stubborn denials might be good. Maybe cut an Aquarius form. Maybe cut another command. The command just seems like less good actually. It's still pretty good though. Uh I mean I don't think I've seen downfall for so Johnny's present seems meh. I cut another seeker. Uh Yeah, I think that's good. And who knows, I may want treasure cruise. <clears throat> I'm not sure though. Um This hand is very interesting. I don't think I can keep it. Um hmm. No, you know what, I I think I can. I can kill his first play get to scry um which is nice i'm gonna thin out my deck which doesn't really matter but i am going to and i am on the draw so yeah that was a good draw um i'm gonna pass the turn now being on the draw is very painful here um not exactly what I'd want. Planes. Uh, I'm gonna play this one. Just better. But then again, I could have played Hero of Iros next turn. Dromoka's Command and um, he do he like swing gain the life. So actually, eh, you know. Maybe that was a mistake. And then that leaves me tapped out, so maybe it wasn't a mistake. I think now I do it. Looks like he's got a pretty uh, controlly hand. I really like my hand right now. Um, just wish I had a protection spell in it. That'd be nice. And I can't believe I haven't seen a Siege Runner yet. Um, I'm sure I'm going to see it this game. There's no way I'm not. It's got to come around sometime. They always do. A clash of rhinos. Uh, green, he's gotta take pain, green, white, yep. Siege rhino, yep. Okay. So this game got difficult. To another land. It's not really what I want. Uh, 
So let's see. Can I get this guy big enough to fight? Pretty rough for me, though. Uh, green. So I'm going to twenty. If I if he doesn't have removal spell, I'm in great position. But um, considering, I'm sure he does have a removal spell. Sure, like hopefully it's just bio blight, and then I'm cool with bio blight. Um, see, a wean make rock might be poor for me here. So hopefully he doesn't have it. Another seed right now, okay. Not as bad. Okay, sweet. I have good cards here. Alright. See if he blocks. I was gonna play the Battlewise Hoplite, but that takes all away all my blue, and I really need the Stubborn Denial here. So I'm gonna pass. So I don't have any more Dromoka's commands. Because <coughs> I set it too out. I mean. In this position, that card's really... Maybe I just don't set that card out. Maybe that card is just too good not not to have four. Just that it has so many modes, it's not mana extensive. I mean, yeah, it's a pretty strong card. I don't know. What could he have? That's really bad for me. Soren. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So, I'm really scared of removal spell. Like, Soren changes the clock. <sighs> Soren. Okay. It's fine. Ah, so he's going to regenerate. I'm going to 10. Takes him out of combat so he doesn't gain the life, though. Uh, let's attack Soren the Solemn Visitor. That's confusing. I didn't think he would gain the life because it takes it out of combat after regeneration. Maybe I'm mistaken. Huh. Now I want Stubborn Denial up. But I want to put 
put a battle-wise hoplite on the field. Oh, this is really hard. So, screw it. Um, this could be a very big misplay by my part, but... If he's got removal spell, he's got removal spell. Maybe he had it last turn too, but he wanted Soren because he wanted to do the play he just did, which I saw. Um, I don't really have any way to answer that play. I mean, I guess I could counter store and swing, which is fine. Bile Blight. Okay. So he's got one card in hand. Let's see what he does with Soren. So now he's going to get maybe an emblem, which is really bad for me. Uh, I don't think I can beat an emblem, so maybe... Okay, God's willing. That's pretty good for me. Nine, ten, eleven damage. Pro black shirt. Put that to the bottom. Got to attack Soren. Because <clears throat> if I don't, he emblems, and I can't beat that emblem, I don't think. I feel pretty good. I have Stubborn Denial in my hand. I put a card to the bottom, which I didn't need. <sighs> I wish I had Treasure Cruise in my deck right now. That would be nice. Okay. Drew a land. He put the card on top, which I don't like at all. Uh, doesn't he just regenerate? And he doesn't need to take a pain for it. Yeah. Fleece main lion. Alright, that's what he kept on top. He can monsters it. Double stubborn denial. Okay, I'm just passing. He's gonna monstrous fleece main lion, which is fine. I mean, I have a lot of cards I can draw to win. And having double, double stubborn denial is nice. He's drawing lands. I mean, I'm drawing useless plus two. Um, what do I want? Center soul would be nice. Um, I don't know if I cited that out or not though. Center soul would probably win me the game. Because of rebound, I just go pro green, swing in 11, rebound, pro green. Uh, I can't remember if I said that out. I don't think I did. Mm, do I just block here? Two, four, s mm, see. Yeah, alright. In case a nice would be. It's a pretty big game, actually. Could make him do a bad attack with his Fleece Main Lion. He probably never attacked with Fleece Main Lion, but I mean, it's possible. Because I just block it, but. I'll probably save this. It's gotta be it. There should be probably a play that will come up that I'd want to play it. Yeah. 
think I just do this right here. Grow green. Put on top. So, uh, so now I could encase an ice on Death Dealer if he's got a removal spell. That's really bad for me. Oh, it only costs one. Oh, I drew. Okay. Alright, I won the match. Alright, so he uh, didn't have a removal spell, which is very good. I was going to draw. Eh, pretty good. So, that's uh, match one. I 2 one uh, Abzan Aggro. It was pretty close, but uh, I feel like this deck is very strong, so um, stay tuned for the next round.